Welcome back to episode five. Yeah, welcome everybody. Of Hollow Knights with a K or with an N? Yeah. Like night. Yeah. Night. Like tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Um, Isn't that crazy that you put a K on something and it's night now? English is dumb. I mean, it's I will, like, I will, I will drive that point to my grave. Cole, to this day, I've been messed up. Well, my, I think second grade teacher was like, Peter, come here. What's the difference <laughs> between sun and sun? Uh, what? <laughs> I was upset. Like my mom had to come get me. I was visibly upset. Like mom, I, I couldn't answer it. Oh man mean there's two types of sun you don't do it like that you don't say come here tell me how dumb the english language is from rote memorization child that's so oh unfair my goodness. that's all english is it's, it's all rote like we only know all of these ridiculous spellings because we've just seen them a bunch of times and we've dealt with all of the english trash for our whole lives <laughs> Oh. Dang, oh, he got you. <laughs> he sure did. Ooh, spikies. Skadoosh. Whoa. Controller went weird for a second. Whoa. Whoa. Are you doing that? You're doing that. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's connected with Parsec. And so, oh, you, no, no, you cannot have this power. You cannot. Also, can't, I can't control my mouse, Cole. Oh, you can't? No. Wait, but if you swipe away. I can't swipe away because it's like, it's like the little rectangle box. So it's not like full screen. Oh, okay, so hold on. We'll be right away. back, everybody. Hold on one second. Huh? I'll just pause okay, the episode. Thank you. Thank um, you. No, I can do it. That way I can swipe with three fingers over and do what Got I can do on the stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, Parsec is very. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm not ready to keep playing. No, no, don't mess with my settings. <laughs> <laughs> you can lock the, lock the keyboard up. <laughs> <laughs> you got too much power. You can control. Oh, I already saved this. No, Cole, I don't have no self control. I have zero. Especially I know. Like something. That's I why you can't have you can't you can't have access to my keyboard. Like, I, I, have, I if, if somebody was a binge person, I'll be that definition of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the dictionary definition. next to binge. Yeah. Addictively bingy. Like, Addictively I bingy. Binge. Yeah. <laughs> that guy looks binge. <laughs> that guy looks Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you know the you know the term uh, Karen the internet yes. has come up with? Or you know, Peter. Different, different means um, really uh, addictively bingy. Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. I can I see the this, Urban I, Dictionary I definition now. Uh, I used to feel bad about the name Karen, but now I do. Like that name is now so being associated with negativity to me. It's so hard mm. not to judge Can't go back. Karen. Yeah, I'll be at work and that Karen to call him. My name's Karen and she has the voice of a Karen. So I automatically just know like, oh, I, I already made a like judgment. That. Yeah. yeah. It's like Martin Luther King would be so disappointed in me. Because 
I'm definitely judging people off the, uh, the name now. Yeah. Like, once I found out your name was Holiday, yeah, call I, I, I can never treat you the same. <laughs> really? How so? No. No, it's just saying. You, go, you, you also get better treatment than anybody else I know right oh now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Very power of a name. Sure. You know, um, you know how Prince, like, decided to not have a name anymore? Do you oh, remember that? No, I do not know that. No, I do not. Uh-uh. He, uh, he decided that he was, he was not going to be called Prince anymore. And that he was going to be called an unpronounceable symbol um he his name became a symbol and that's the little <laughs> like the boy the the symbol on his oops don't put the mic guitar uh yeah i think his guitar was shaped like it um now the stories i've heard of prince it must be associated with what you're telling me because i heard he hated his label and he wanted to own his mm -hmm. masters mm -hmm. and he used to put slave on his face and all that stuff because mm -hmm. he was ahead of like the curve of like not making <laughs> no money. I'm like, wow. Yeah. And I also heard Prince loved basketball. He played yeah. basketball. He he could ball. To, he used to beat the brakes off of Eddie Murphy and his friends, which is <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. <sighs> but that yeah. makes a lot of sense. That was associated with all that. I think um, he just. Because, like, people were like, why in the record, in the music industry, your name is everything? And so, how could you get rid of your name? And it was because of that. It's because it didn't matter to him. He wanted a new... He wanted... Whoa. That's a, a, that's a bit of a glitch. Peter, don't look at the map. I know you like maps. <laughs> Peter, have you? It's okay. So there's a <laughs> there's a new there's a new TikToker. Uh, I hate that you have to be on TikTok, but she has this animal farm, or this she has like all these type of the animals. She also has this. What's the, it's not an ostrich, but it's similar like a uh, what's the ostrich cousin? It's something, but it's like a bluer color, darker color than an ostrich. Oh, oh, uh, emu? oh, emu, uh, emu. Emu. Yes. I guess it's emu. And she has, she has this emu, and he is destructive. So she'll be recording a video, and she'll be like, <laughs> "Emu time." The emu will pop up, and she'll be like, <laughs> "No, no." And she gave me like he has a whole name, like something Lopez. Lopez. It, it, it's hilarious. <laughs> That's a great name for an emu, it. Lopez. Oh my gosh. Emmanuel. 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 Don't. Emmanuel. Please. Emmanuel. Please don't do it. <laughs> Emmanuel. Be positive today. Oh my gosh. It is, it, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Please. Emmanuel. <laughs> Emmanuel. <laughs> and she'll walk up like he, he, he's done it. He's knocked the camera over. Because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to knock the camera over. He'll, he'll stop sometimes. Uh -huh. And she'll say, thank you. Thank you just tell she's just frustrated Emmanuel. with him. He's just so bad. Emmanuel the emu. Emu. He, he was like, Peter, Peter, don't do it. I know you like to do that, but don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to find out what other keys do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Sir oh, that was an accident. No, that was what that was. No. Mm -mm. Nope. How dare you? All right, so this is over here. Okay. Emmanuel? Emmanuel. No! That is not positive, Emmanuel. Please. <laughs> that is so cold. I'll Remember tell you what we talked dying. about. <laughs> that's exactly what she said. You had to have seen the call. I don't believe you had to see this. No, that's I have exactly not what seen she this. said. She said this is exactly what we haven't talked about Emmanuel. <laughs> she said, Emmanuel, please. Why'd you do she still go to Emmanuel? Why do you do this stuff? Emmanuel, I'm and gonna the, Google how long the memory span of uh, an emu is. And I want you to tell me what you see. She looks up the attention span of an emu, and it's like four seconds. Oh, <laughs> you remember had, nothing we Emmanuel talked about, don't you, Emmanuel? Had, he's bad. Yeah, he's a bad boy. Oh, but he's got a good heart. Yeah, she I, believes I believe in so. Him. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't hit like peck at her. Cause some emus are crazy. Mm -hmm. Some emus are really, some, really crazy. Some emus are crazy. Yeah, they they are they're very attackish. Woo, woo. 
What's over here? That skill is definitely a cheat. This, the dash? Yeah. I already went in here, but I guess I'll come back. Excuse me, children. I shouldn't call them children when I'm brutally smacking them. <laughs> it's more like murder, so. Like, yeah, that would be. Yeah, and, rob yeah. and robbery. You know, like, we're not going to talk about it. Yes, we should not. Yes, we should not. Huh. And. Okay, he's not coming back down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for that. Hey! Oh, there were two. Yeah, and there were two. That time, well. Yeah. I'm only one dung beetle bug. Ooh. It, it, it moves the little branches up top. Diggle, diggle. Ooh. It's like tentacles. The detail, it is like tentacles. Explode. Uh. Oh. And run! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, so really smart. oh yeah. So much power. Oh, Carl, have you seen the thread on Twitter saying rent is three hundred dollars in Gotham? <laughs> no. For a five bedroom house. Oh uh, really? We were talking about rent last time. Oh, oh you know, I wanted to say you were told you were. You were telling me about your experience with that man, um, like, kind of learning to accept um, uh, non-binary genders. Uh -huh. uh, and, you know, you know the times where someone's saying something really deep, ooh, it's really deep and really interesting, um, and you don't know what to say, so you just say something dumb? <laughs> that's kind of that's how I felt yesterday. I was a little... I. After recording, I was like processing. Oh boy, that's impossible. Oh, <laughs> I was it's kind possible. of, I was processing what, you know, our conversation and whatnot. Oh dear, and I was like, man, I was a little cringy. Then <laughs> my response, I was like, yeah, you know, with hate, you just gotta listen, you know. And it was like, man. I should have just like left it where it was, because um, it was a really cool. Oh, I wasn't ready. A really cool experience you had, and so you know, I just wanted to um, have a tiny little apology to all of you people. Um, take the cringe, take it in, enjoy it, consume it, and then we'll all move on and be happy. Oh, uh, Carl, I didn't even. I didn't. I, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I don't... I don't know what uh, your response was. What was your response? It was like, it was like, yeah, you know, if people have any kind of hate, it's just because they need to talk to somebody who um, understands more, and so just gotta be willing to listen. And I was like, I oh, mean, that's not cringe, you know, that's maybe I'm just, I'm that. probably just being a little overly self-conscious, but you know, I got it off my chest. I'm better now. Thorns of agony. I'm, I'm glad you did. Cause sometimes we got. Sometimes we got to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I got a. Oh no, that's not the menu button. Got a new charm. Senses the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them. Dang. That sounds like that's that whip girl. Like that's her thing. She used to like the whip. She whipped around her like the wild. Oh yeah. Thing. Yeah. The the hornet. Uh, yes. girl we fought yes, maybe I, she, maybe I can give her that. the thorns of agony charm and she'll be like oh, you understand and then or use the thorns of agony charm against her hmm that is also a possibility I don't think she's gonna listen to words if you gotta beat the uh, sister to her oh they double teamed me again get away Ruh. Oh, I keep doing that. So, when we get enough of them, it gives us a little tip. Defeat nine more to decipher the hunter's notes. Hey, he's Hornet. Skilled protector of Hallowness ruins. Wields a needle and thread. So she's a hornet. Mm, yeah. But, I mean, she's like a bug shell. I, well, 
Where is the stinger? I guess that's her. The, her... the, the needle. Yeah. All right. I love all the names. Crawlid. Grozer. Yeah. Well, let's look up a crawlid. Let's see if that's a real thing. Tick, tick. Husk bully. Balder. Okay. We can move on now. Skadoosh time. Huh. See ya. Howdy. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... If you had... Dude, if you drove an Audi vehicle and you weren't comfortable with your situation, you could be like, I'm Audi, and then you'd leave in your Audi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Cole owes us another apology, you all. Uh, <laughs> he apologized for the wrong thing. <laughs> this was the true apology. <laughs> if I'm Audi. Okay, I'm yep. Audi. Yep, yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> quality, quality comedy. Quality. Wasn't there something over here? Uh, Audis cost so much. Audis are crazy expensive. Are they? Oh my goodness. Oh, they are crazy expensive. Yeah, unnecessary. I dropped Audi. I dropped them. Sorry. I'd rather, I'd rather buy a place to live than a redonkulous car, you know? But what should you buy the place to live than what, Paul? <laughs> That's where they buy the car. What do you buy then, Paul? A cheaper car. A normal but car, not an you Audi. Afford an Audi. You can afford huh? any car you want. What's your dream? Do you have a, like, a dream car that you want to have? Let's have your Jeep. <sighs> I love my Jeep. Um, have you ever heard of a Caterham? Uh, yes, I have. You have? No, I have not, but I'm looking into it now. Okay, put it on the screen. It's a Caterham. Um, I mean, if I... If I have to pick a dream car, that's it. But like, for some reason, I just can't ever imagine myself. Cole, this what? is a Caterham. Yeah. What you? What? 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 Why are they so expensive? They're not expensive. They're like thirty-five. Yeah, but they're so expensive for like a, uh, for not so much of a car. Like you miss it so much. You well, it goes. Oh, so here's the thing. It goes zero to sixty as fast as a Bugatti does. No, but it does not. It does. It goes like zero to sixty in less than three seconds. <laughs> so is it but a it, car? But the top speed is only like one fifty. So like a Bugatti so goes it, zero to sixty that fast, and its top speed is like three fifty or something ridiculous. Better question: Is it street legal? Yeah, that's street legal. How'd you find this car? <sighs> that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know where I found the car. Um, oh, got him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I love that. It just looks really fun to drive. It's just like a, it's as close you can get to an a buggy while still being a car. <laughs> so it just seems like it'd be really fun to handle and just to drive around. But I don't know if I would ever get one, to be honest. Oh. Uh. Josh and Freak Paul Jimmy I like the car a lot, actually. No. I feel like this was like maybe a how much is a slingshot? Slingshot? I don't know what that is. The car, like you know, the ones you see like on the street sometimes where they're not like a car, they're more like a go-kart. Oh, but... oh yeah. Yeah, I think so. How much do they be running you? I'm gonna go back to the grub. Grub Daddy, <laughs> and see see if he has anything to give me. They cost like thirty thousand. What oh, would the, a car? That's the little go kart things do. Yeah, they cost just as much as your your, your uh hmm your car. Yeah, I mean they're probably. I think those things are probably maybe a little. I don't know if they'd be safer. I have no idea. Hey, look. I think yours is safer. Oh. I saved another grub. So he's gonna give me monies. Not bad. <laughs> that was that is a spot on Patrick. I have not heard a better Patrick in my day. 
was SpongeBob. I can't get that part, but I got the oh, Wii dude, Wii That's so good. Wii You're so Wii good. That was so funny back then. <laughs> you know, so you know the one that where show? they. That oh my show. goodness. Love what, what's your favorite? Like, can you remember? Like, I've seen so many SpongeBob episodes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Can I've you got remember like, so, your favorite episode? I've got so many favorites. One of them is when Squidward is bedridden because he lost his job at the Krusty Krab, and SpongeBob <laughs> is like. I will call someone with a job to so they can come to fix that job. And he's like he was poking over his it. nose. He was over it. He was over it. I loved it so much. Um, and Squidward's like, "What are you saying?" <laughs> and SpongeBob just loses so, it. So, what I've done, Cole, is look up the top ten SpongeBob episodes and. Mm. To my surprise, none. Wait. They have to be none all are... the old ones. Oh, it is. Yeah, I, that's not surprising. All the old uh, ones are what? awesome. Because have How you ever watched? Have you watched one of the new SpongeBob's where it's like the animation is all like jiggly and and no, no, you know. It's all the jokes are in the animation. It's just all like, blah, 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 blah. my eyes are out no, of my head. I have not. I've seen every episode of this top 10 list. So, okay, well, it's giving me 15. Let's, go, let's start at 10 and we can talk about the 10. Okay. Episode 10 is Club SpongeBob. Do you remember Welcome that? The SpongeBob podcast. Wait, what's, what's number 10? Club SpongeBob. Club SpongeBob. Uh, I don't know. Do you rem- What is that one? So, Club SpongeBob is the one where they got stuck in like that, like the area where they had this the little shell they used to pull, like the little pink shell. They used to oh, talk the conch to. shell! Yes, the conch shell. Oh, that's hail the magic conch! Yes, that's, a, that's episode ten. I mean, that's that's a classic. 10. Yes. Now I don't remember this one, but it's called Welcome to the Chum Bucket, where Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob both lose in a car game, but the Chum Bucket owner isn't ready to fry. Fry cooks increasingly high demands to work. The episode also features one of the most memorable and heartfelt ballads in the series with SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs. I don't remember that. The grill is not a home. Do you remember Oh, that? yes, I the do remember grill? that. How did they go? I don't listen know. The, the Here, hold on. Let's listen. Home. This guy's singing a little tune. I'm going to listen to him. He's not. Oh, bury the night with her broken. Nail bury the p- pre something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. Ha 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 ha. Maybe I'll just hum it. Okay. He's an excavator. Yeah. Oh, I probably that's so wrong. Excavator? I, I excavator. think that's right. Are you still running about? Still. You've been watching me, Hi. Myla? No, no, no! Why don't I? Why not join me down here? There's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put a bit of work in. Those crystals out there are worth a fair BB bit, but I have a feeling that there's something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper in. I can almost smell it! Ha! Ah! You're welcome to join me. There's enough for both of us. Or if you don't feel like DDD digging, you can just sit and sing with me! Ha! Ah! Well, this seems like a relationship that I should not um, actively pursue, so... It's just very interesting that they're digging. Because this is supposed to be like a archaeological type of thing I thought it was going to be like. Yeah. Like ruins, like more ruins than anything. I guess you have to excavate to see the ruins, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe we will excavate for ourselves. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excavating. I'm a lot quicker than Myla. Bam! You could have thoughts? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. What's in here? Oh! Excuse me. Those, those are going to fall, though. <gasps> Dash. And in here. Ooh, shaky. Yeah, stay, stay right there. Don't be we'll, we'll scared. Oh. I don't think it's gonna collapse. That was underwhelming. 
That is underwhelming. Okay. Anyway, continue. Welcome back to the SpongeBob podcast. Thank you to our sponsor, Hollow Knight, for um, giving us that wonderful break. Um, what is uh? So uh, so nine was the grill is not a home. What's eight? Yes, so I remember it, it was good. That was a good ballad. A stove is still a stove. Yes. The one is sitting, so he mm -hmm. in the stove. Yes. What a stove. Number eight. Ah, this one should be lower. <sighs> I believe this one should be top five. This is the Fry Cook Games, where SpongeBob and Patrick have a parody of the Olympic Games. Oh, yeah, I remember they that. They get and buff, and they start beating, like, beating themselves up. <laughs> yes. That should oh be lower. Gosh. That, that should was... be lower, because that was really good. My name's not Rick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to skip seven, because I don't know what seven is. What is the title of it? Number six should also be lower. It's okay. Franken Noodle. Franken Noodle? Uh, <laughs> oh yes doodle me hoi, me no, no, yeah. it was very that very one was disturbing to me i still don't i i that one still bothers me a little bit oh cool that's why it should be lower it's just super out of this it's super special out of this world this one was scary the oh look great check this out shift i can reach this now ha yeah can you, can you help him out yeah well, Follow. Anyway. <laughs> Follow him to the grave. Anyway, I cut you off. Oh. No, you are oh. fine. I need to see that. I wonder what type of shoes he wears so he don't get cut like glass cut on his foot. <laughs> this little guy? Or not our character? Yeah, our character. Yeah. He wears he wears those um those Air Jordans. Hmm. Give him the Special cushion. Edition. Yeah. Oh. Number six for the SpongeBob Top Ten show is the graveyard shift when they was like nose for rock to that was mm. scary when they stayed the night at the, the uh, crust crab. I'm. He was like, I, no, it sounds for vaguely rock familiar. Two. At the very end, it was like a vampire, like ghostly type thing. Oh, he got wait. Was that with the, with the spatula felt, and he yes. ended up being a nerd? Yeah. yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. That was really good. Number yeah. four is this one, This may have been number one. Chocolate with nuts. <laughs> when they were selling chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate? Oh, great. Yeah, classic. Great. And they took the girls out on that dinner and the lady was like old as like dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man good stuff Spongebob he was I, I miss the days I mean I, honestly it's okay because there's so many good Spongebob episodes oh so many uh I don't oh, think I Cole, can you can't you can jump on top of it you can jump on top but not on it oh, <laughs> oh, oh. what was that it's a double jump you can't jump on top of it that's all, that sucks Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! yeah! So he was cutting them at the same time. Yeah, I was. It's a. I'm like pogoing. Oh! I don't think I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> All right. Cool. What's over here? Nothing. Oh, there's a little platform up there. Ooh, I don't know. Do I want to go got here? Bigger. Yeah, it, it has. This is our. This is the original area. Forgotten crossroads. Is it? Oh, okay. I can go down. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no no no! I did not just do this. No. What? No. Oh. Oh, can I go back up? I just. I. I don't want to be... Oh. Oh. No. No, I don't want to be here. Okay. Go down. Okay, maybe I can go back this way. Here we go. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, great. Now I got to get out. Well, that's not that hard. Cool. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> Eat my words. So, for the top three spots is pizza yeah. delivery. Uh -huh. Krusty Krab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 So I see what they're doing. Number two is I rip my pants. Mm, mm hmm Yes. And send in your buns. Rip pants. And number one, you have to be able to guess number one. Like this is the best SpongeBob episode I've ever seen. Maybe the one of the best <laughs> episodes I've seen ever. Of any, any show. Any, any genre. Any genre, yeah. Wow. Um. Hmm. If Carlos get this with counseling call, okay, he's going to be counseled from <laughs> any SpongeBob meetings moving forward. Any I'm discussion from it. To I'm not good at that. I'm not good at recall like that. Oh. Um, that's why I can never be. I was a. You better, I was a, um, you better get good at it. I was a uh, a bio major at first. Oh. Um, but I just, I, I, my brain doesn't work like that. I can't recall stuff. Even as a history major, it's really difficult for me to recall information because I'm dumb. So it's, he's telling, okay. So just tell me what it is. First strike. First strike. First, first strike. He got two more strikes to underrate himself. And we're going to. Oh, call I have my FDA. first strike. Yes. That's not the name of the episode. First strike. So Does that mean I get two one, more? Oh, okay. That's my. Okay, got it. No, you only get one strike. Oh. <laughs> you got the strike. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. Goodbye, so, everybody. Well. Go ahead. Go ahead and log we'll, out for me, sir. Guess we'll end the episode. Oh, uh, before that, the Ooh. last number one is band geeks. When they went to perform at like the Super Bowl. Oh, absolutely. Come on, come on. That was like a movie. Come on. That was, I should have known. I thought it was a movie too. It was an episode called. It's because it's such it, a good it episode. Felt so good. Such a good episode. When he came out singing. Mm hmm. Oh, man. I listened to that song to... non ironically so many times. Squidward was like, one, two, three. <laughs> They, they showed out. I they was, sure well, did. As a child, Cole, they just understand as a child. Yeah, it was oh, epic. I mean, I man, I need to go listen to that song now. It's so good. Well, well Cole, speak, speaking about that, I'm going to go find it right now because I've heard that song in years. Yeah, do it. And uh, we'll, I think this video over. We'll call the episode. It's actually right when I got my first strike. <laughs> my first and only <laughs> strike. Uh, in the past 30 minutes so <laughs> well, I first strike everybody it's just going to be Peter Call from now back. on <laughs> <laughs> the thing's going to be different we're yeah. going to no, kill not everybody my mouse. in the game no one, oh sorry the mouse. <laughs> we're going to kill the girl next time we see her in the show so yep. no but she but she but she but she cute <laughs> 